throw about 30 yards of tape a game, right? <laughs> with the various and sundry injuries. How you feeling? I feel good. Did you get hurt again? No, not really. Oh, really? Uh, you came through it okay. Uh, he's yeah, a little sore, so he's hard, I'm sure. <laughs> Art Bortnick, who is a five-year senior from Euclid, Ohio. Offensive tackle, and of course, you guys have really played well under Coach Don Boyce this year. You're to be congratulated. I thought Saturday that offensive line really opened up some holes. Holes that I possibly myself could have gotten through. And wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> well, yeah, they, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. It was a rainy day. Do you think uh, the rain, did you feel before the game, would be a factor? Not really, because it, you know, it kind of settled down. It wasn't uh, uh, hard enough to really get the turf that slick. Mm -hmm. And so we really went, in fact, matter of fact, if we would have won the toss, we would have kicked off, but we didn't. Uh, they won the toss and left the receipt. Crowd of 37,031. Panthers losing the toss. West Virginia wants the football, so they get it right away, thanks to the great leg of David Trout. And you can see the Panthers pretty well fired up for this contest, as were the Mountaineers. It's always a spirited rivalry, and we'll see some of the action that leads to over 200 yards in penalties for both teams. Panthers, however, got their lion's share. This is David Trout, the freshman from South Moreland High School. Yes. He is really something, Bill. He's, he's worth his weight in gold, I tell you that. The young man is uh, kicking off. He's dev very devastating. This sets the tone for the kicking game for the Panthers. It's five yards deep down by Robert Alexander. So West Virginia has it uh, on their own 20-yard line. We pick it up on their own 37. This is Alexander looking for... I'm sorry, Kendra looking for Alexander. They, uh, that pass right there makes Kendra the all-time West Virginia passing leader. Right. Kendra played very well. He's... He's a very good football player. They sent motion across the backfield all day. Here's Hugh Green with a big important sack, and there's Jeff Pelusin. Uh, they sent motion all the way across the backfield every play, and of course they were trying to flood us on the, on the back side, which they did the first play. We get a repeat. This is third and seven. Now West Virginia driving at the pit 15, but a big sack for number 99, Hugh Green. And it puts them uh, back far enough that they've got to decide to go for a field goal on fourth and 28, which they do. And Bill McKenzie, who beat the Panthers a couple of years ago with a last-second field goal, puts it through the uprights, the 45-yarder, as West Virginia on the board drawing first blood three to nothing. Uh, and it looked like the Panthers might be in some trouble. Early first quarter. And the first you know, drive, we had them, there's third and fourth and seven, we have a penalty, third and seven, we have a penalty of fouling on, which uh, gave them the first down and kept the, the drive moving. Kickoff return man for the Panthers is junior All-American Gordon Too Much Jones. I thought we was going to thought we was gonna break this one in right from the side. It looked like we had some, some daylight in there, and people from the back side came across and made the play on Gordon. However, the Panthers are not able to move the football, and after a Joe Gasparovic punt of 52 yards, West Virginia first and 10 at the Mountaineer 28. That's number 70, Randy Holloway. Excellent play by Randy. Stepping the blocker, making the play on Robert Alexander. One yard gain. Now we watch Dan Kendra back to pass, and he's looking for Cedric Thomas, his split receiver. However, Bob Jury has other ideas. It's a very good play by Bob. Bob overlapped the boundary and took the ball, and I wish he would have scored there. Good block by Leroy Felder, but Pridemore brings him down on about the uh, five yard line, so we pick it up with the Panthers trying to take it in. There's the option play to, to Freddie, and Freddie scores. Excellent block on the inside of Fortnick and Bowie blocked the inside, and Carlstead blocked the inside pursuit, and Elliott Walker blocked the corner. We get another look at it here. Fast Freddie Jacobs as the offensive linemen move people out. Nice little move at the goal line. Elliott Walker's good block, and the four-yard touchdown puts the Panthers ahead. It's, of course, uh, ahead to stay, but you don't know it at this point. With Schubert's extra point, the hold by Tommy Yusuf, and the snap by Walter Brown the third. The Panthers make it 7-3. First quarter action, 37,000 plus. That's uh, capacity plus at Mountain Near Field. Yes, I think it's 30, what, 33,000? 34, I think 34 000. is what they list. But it was jammed, and the crowd is very vocal and intimidating. And if you allow it to get to you, you, you can be in trouble. The counter option to Freddie. Gordon Jones blocking at the corner. Freddie Jacobs, second quarter action now. Pick up at seven yards. Now we watch Kavanaugh to Steve Gostad. Excellent play, Mr. Steve. Steve. Steve made seven catches on Saturday for 88 yards, including one touchdown. I'll tell you what, you can see the ones coming up shortly. He made some outstanding catches. Jim Bowie, would you rather uh, pass block or drive block? You know, <laughs> you favor the running game or the passing game as an offensive lineman. Well, Willie Taylor on a comeback. <laughs> I'd say I favor the running game. You, you'd rather drive people out than stand there and take a punch. <laughs> How about you, Art Morton? I agree with Jim. <laughs> 
better to hit than to receive, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's a screen pass to Elliot Walker and his boy and Bortnick out there. Gordon Jones makes a block. Nine yard pickup for the Panthers. Elliot picking up, uh, picking up four receptions on Saturday, and I believe for him that's a, a career come back personal with, high. Come back with screen again. There's Bowie, George Link, Brzoza. 12 yards this time. Now, remember, Pitt has a first and 38 now and is trying to overcome that problem. We pick it up third and 18, getting 15 yards of it. And this sets up an all-important fourth down. Very excellent. Steve Gossett with a great grab. You'll watch it from the upstairs angle. Number 82, the junior from New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. What a tight end he has turned out to be. He certainly has, Phil. He's really improved each week. Excellent reception right here. Tell me, you offensive linemen consider Gostad part of the offensive line? Is, is he welcome to join your new club that I understand is uh, making big gains right now? Very much That's so. The fraternal order of offensive linemen. <laughs> Fools, right? <laughs> Excellent play. I understand there is such an organization, and Harry, uh, Harry Hanna of the Black Angus is the guy who's kind of uh, in charge of the thing, but the president is John Pelusi, former Panther. There's a dive by Freddie, Freddie Jacobs. Past Freddie from Cincinnati. Come down on <laughs> Throwing a ball, and this is Gosta, another reception. Eight-yard game for the Panthers. Pitt has a first and ten now for West Virginia 13. Watch Jacobs do a good job here. Good play, Jeff Pretty. Good blocking. Yeah. George Link just driving people out of there. Excellent play. Pretty right behind him. Riding his coattails, as it were, for an eight-yard gain. And now we pick it up. Pitt with a third and one at the West Virginia 4. Number 12 is Matt Cavanaugh. This is a good block by the, the lineman, and Freddie Jacobs makes a block on the defensive end. And it kind of hops into the end zone. We'll see it from the upstairs angle now. And you see the blocking on this point. Link is number 66, Carroll number 77. Down at the goal Ready. line, Gostan. And it clears the way for Matt to score from four yards away. And the Panthers now with the extra point. Go ahead of West Virginia, 14 to three. We're still in early second quarter action. Benji Pryor. Benji Pryor, the freshman from Valley. Any injuries on Saturday, Jackie Show? No, just some bumps and bruises, no injuries. And I'm very, very pleased with that. Pick it up now, West Virginia. Second and five it's at their own 22. Down. Not much running room there, thanks to people like Pelosi and Holloway. And he was on the bottom there. That was Meisner. Jerry Boyarski at middle guard played a fine game for the Panthers. Two, the freshman from Scott, Pennsylvania. Kendra in his own end zone, trapped. Hit as he releases a football to Duck Riley on the pass play. This is the play on which Kendra is injured. And, of course, West Virginia has its hopes uh, dashed because of Kendra's passing abilities. They had to go to a guy with less of a passing reputation. And as a result, it really hurt the Mountaineer offensive attack. Now we watch Mountaineers punting from their own end zone. That's Kenny Hatton. I'll tell you what, this guy back here scares anybody. Gordon Jones gets the block here from, I believe, uh, J.C. J.C.? Was, was Mike Balzer blocking on that play? Yes, he was. he was. And Singletary tackles him, and the Panthers with great field position now. Pick it up uh, first and 10 at the uh, first and 18 at the West Virginia 42 after a penalty. What a catch by Gordon Jones. They were playing uh, roll coverage, and we just went ahead and hit the, the boundary seam on him. And Panthers cannot take it in, so Mark Schubert, the sophomore from Springdale, tries the 36-yard field goal. It's good, and the Panthers now lead it 17-3. Still late second quarter action. Kickoff to Robert Alexander, number 31, who is the uh, much-heralded freshman from South Charleston, West Virginia. Picks up the uh, muff kickoff uh, and gets and tackled. Mark Riker. I think he fumbled it again. Alexander going to his right. There's Jeff Delaney. One yard loss. Chesley. Panthers string it out defensively as well as anybody I uh, have seen, that's for, for sure. When they started Riley and uh, uh, Alexander, we, we knew they'd probably go outside. It was an option game outside. And of course, that was to our advantage running through our, our speed. Panthers at halftime lead at 17 to 3. Jackie Sherrill, I don't think you were very pleased with all the penalties that the Panthers were piling up. And uh, I guess you kind of figured maybe perhaps things weren't being seen fairly at this point in the football game. Well, you know, I'd have to really look at the films, go back and understand that. But you did have a conference with one of the officials at halftime. But, you know, I was very upset because he's making so many penalties and he's taking you in, in bad position. He's taking you out of the game. He's letting him sustain a drive or something. And you just can't uh, have penalties like this to to keep the team in the game, and you can't have penalties that could keep you down. And I think if we hadn't had those penalties in the first half, uh, you know, the first half, we could have done some other things and 
put some more points on the board. So the Panthers lead 17 to 3 over West Virginia at halftime. We'll be back with offense and lineman Jim Bowie and Art Fortnick right after these messages. <laughs> Practices yeah. go quicker. Yeah, everything feels better. You can take more yelling from your coach. Oh, yeah, because there's a purpose behind everything. Tell me, does Don Boyce remind you of a Marine drill sergeant? <laughs> and more. <laughs> and more. <laughs> and more. Well, Art Bortnick, you, uh, you now weigh 225 pounds, and I remember not too long ago, you weighed close to 250. Uh, what's the reason for the weight loss? <laughs> uh, coach Boyce works us pretty hard. <laughs> and, um, you know, if you go hard a lot,